Hello, my Sagittarius. This is your mid-month for the 15th through the 31st. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for coming. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe, guys. All information for personal readings is available on the website that is down below the video, okay? Celtic Cross. <clears throat> the energy that is around you guys is the King of Swords here, okay? Let's see where your challenge is. Your challenge is the Hermit. <clears throat> Let's see what the issue is for you guys. Hmm, the Seven of Wands. Let's see what happened for you in the past. What was going on? The Four of Pentacles. Your best possible outcome. It's the Hanged Man. Hmm. What's coming in for you guys? Huh, the Seven of Pentacles. How you see yourself here is the Page of Wands. Your outside influence is a Queen of Cups. Your hopes is the King of Cups. And your fears is a Five of Wands. This card is just sliding all over the place. And your overall outcome, we have the Star. All right, guys, so the energy that is surrounding you is the King of Swords here. Hmm. I think there's something that you're contemplating. There's something that you're thinking. Um, I think that you're not trying to show a lot of emotion. You're trying to be very intellectual um, around a situation. There is um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy that could be significant to you. Um, but your challenge here is the Hermit, and I think this is um, more of a reflective energy, more so than um, thinking about maybe what somebody has done, um, more of you taking a look at yourself, um, studying maybe some things that, you know, that you could change you know about yourself a little bit maybe that will make your life um a bit easier maybe welcome in some love even um how you're seeing yourself is the page of wands i think there is somebody that you're interested in or something that you're interested in that um it's like it, it just really came into your line of sight almost um, there is a realization here I feel something that you've realized about somebody or something okay now what the issue is is that I think that you've been blocked off for a long time um, you've been kind of um, you know just kind of taking a step back trying to it's almost like almost like sacrificing yourself um, for a cause and I think that you are you are really just trying to stand your ground here where something is concerned um, but I think there's a need to let something or someone in this is also somebody um, may have blocked you is what this is is what the issue is they may have taken their energy away they may not be moving towards you they may um they may you know be trying to stand behind something that they have said to you or done towards you here okay now in the past we have stability um i think you were feeling very you were you weren't willing to budge um kind of holding yourself to yourself not really sharing much um just kind of complacent good where you were and so i i think now you know you are thinking about you know if that is the right thing you're trying to figure out like the things that you have done before you know is that still something that works for you okay 
Is blocking someone out, is that truly bravery? Or is this just like you taking your hands off the wheel and just letting things go haywire? You know, however they land is where they land or how they land even. Okay. And I think, you know, you're really thinking about, you know, whether or not you should make contact with somebody, whether you should um, speak to somebody, whether you should travel to somebody, something like that. Now, the best possible outcome is that you do take a look inside of yourself. Take time out. Look inside of yourself for the answers here. Okay? Not just decide that you know, you're going to block someone or just remain closed off, but really take a, a long look at you know, what it is that you, know, you possibly can do to help your situation along here. Okay? This is like self-sacrificing. This is not really laying blame at anyone's doorstep, but just trying to figure out like, you know, how you how you move from here. How do you move from here? Um, very spiritual energy going on. I feel um, with the hermit and the hangman, there's a lot that you are trying to figure out, I feel regarding maybe a fire sign like yourself um aries Leo, or sag um could be a capricorn virgo pisces energy even does not have to be those signs but you know that's the energy that i see present but there's a lot that you're thinking about um as far as like where you know where it's best for you to spend your time and your energy if this person um, is where you need to devote more time and energy is what I'm feeling. Whether you should open up here with a seven of wands, um, whether you should be brave enough to like, you know, not cl just close yourself off and be willing to also listen here with the king of swords to what somebody else has to say or what they feel. Okay. So what's coming in for you is a seven of pentacles. Okay. I feel like if you guys do not move, do not take the time out to um, reflect on this situation overall, how you can maneuver to, you know, um, make this situation better. I feel like, you know, you will feel like you know, all is lost. You will feel like you have failed in some kind of way. That maybe you didn't do enough to keep this from falling apart completely. Okay? Where it cannot be fixed. Okay, guys? Um, and what is influencing this situation here is the Queen of Cups. Somebody that you feel like is very, very loving. Um... I think this person probably shielded you with their love when you were with them. Okay? If you are not with them, but I don't get the feeling that you're with anybody because we have the Seven of Wands here, and this is like, you know, it's like you protecting yourself. And I feel like you're doing that um, as a defense mechanism here. You really are. It's like, you know, you're not allowing anything in that's going to interfere with your stability here. Okay. But I, I get that this, this Queen of Cups individual has a lot of influence over, um, over your life. Even if you're not in contact with them. This is somebody that really, truly loved you. And I feel like you love them. Okay. I think somebody that you are willing to, you know, this is somebody who you feel is worth you giving a second look to this thing, to this situation. Okay. Now, your hopes is the King of Cups. This is the Queen's counterpart right here. Your hope, I feel like, is that you can match this person's efforts. 
that you can come into this situation or re-enter this situation um, emotionally stable able to show your emotions able to you know if this queen tells you that she loves you that you can say that back and mean it okay your fear is that you won't know how to your fear is that you will not know how to like it's all going downhill you do not want this situation to go to the left where you cannot come back from this so you really want to be emotional emotionally stable in your approach as well um, because you don't want something to happen this situation to go to a place that you cannot come back from because you love this person this person has a lot of healing energy as well and they really truly like I said have a um, very strong influence over your life I feel and the overall outcome we have a star I feel like you guys are definitely destined to be together this is possibly your husband or your wife here in this spread um, but not only that I feel like in being with this person that not only you guys you know will heal each other in a sense but your energy together helps heal other people as well okay I think maybe you guys are better together you're good apart but I think you're even better together is what I'm getting here okay Again, the signs are Aquarius, Scorpio, um, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces as well, Leo energy here, um, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn energy, Virgo. Um, yeah, does not have to be those signs, but that's just the energy that's present, you guys. So I will be speaking with you soon.